Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Cappies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below, Capricorn. Before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Capricorn, your energy, okay? The reason why you came to this reading, the energy that you're holding is the Eight of Swords energy. You're all up in your head here. Your challenge is the Nine of Cups. Your reason for this energy existing right here, this Eight of Swords energy is the Eight of Cups. What's coming towards you is the devil, and your advice is the Prince of Swords. So let's check this out here. So Capricorn, why are you all up in your head? And what's interesting is your challenge is fulfilling your wishes. Making your wishes a reality. Living out your dream here, whatever that may be. So the Ace of Pentacles is clarifying the Eight of Swords. You're, okay, so there's some opportunity possibly that's being put before you, but you're all up in your head about it. You're going over and over and over. Or this could be a previous opportunity that you're repeating in your mind. Yeah, because... The reason why this is all happening is the Eight of Cups. So there was something that you walked away from or somebody walked away from. So the Wheel of Fortune here, this is talking about destiny and fate and change. So we have the Hierophant. So this could involve a Taurus. This could involve a marriage or a commitment. But you're going all up in your head. You're repeating something that was walked away from. This could have been a relationship that you feel was destined for you, that was faded. All right, so let's check out the Nine of, what is the Nine of Cups here for? What is Capricorn's wish? The strength card. So your challenge is to actually go after your wishes here and have the strength to heal your broken heart here. Clarify this again. Yeah, the hermit. So your challenge is to really go within Capricorn and figure out what, uh, maybe you don't know what your wishes are. Maybe they've changed. Maybe your desires have changed. But your challenge is to go within and shine a light upon the shadow aspects of the self here to learn more about the self. So that way you can expand, you can heal, and you can have the strength to step into those wishes, those dreams that you're holding. So why is this all happening for Capricorn? Why is the Eight of Cups here? What did Capricorn walk away from? What or who walked away from Capricorn? Seven of Swords. Sneaky sneakiness. So there was some sort of sneaky behavior here. Seven of Cups. Somebody could have had options. Queen of Pentacles. This could have involved, um, well, that's you too. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. So this had to do with stability as well. The Emperor, Aries, Taurus, energy. So yeah, there was a relationship that ended due to lying, cheating, thieving. Somebody had options here. And somebody decided to walk away. 
So what's coming towards you is the devil energy. Why is the devil energy here? So this is talking about your shadow self. This is talking about patterns of behavior. The high priestess. Ooh. Some sort of secret addiction. What's the secret addiction? What is this? Third party situation. Or something that you're building. Clarify this again. The Prince of Pentacles. So what's coming towards you, Capricorn? Hmm. Is, wow, there's a couple of things. So you've got the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So you're going to have the chance to build something here, okay? Something's coming towards you slowly. It could be an Earth energy, could be a Gemini Pisces or a fellow Capricorn. This is a very strong connection. It's a sexual connection here with the devil energy, but this could also be toxic. So you have to be careful here of this toxic energy. It is something that you've been waiting for, though. Somebody possibly at a distance with the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles here. This actually could be two people, especially with the Three of Pentacles. Yep, Five of Wands. So there's a couple of people that are going to come towards you. That's why the Devil Energy is here. So you may be juggling a couple of people, one of these. That's why the High Priestess is here. So you've got a secret lover. You're going to have a secret lover. It could be a Taurus or a Libra with the Empress here. Ooh, your advice, Capricorn, is the Prince of Swords. Your advice is to go within and really look. Yep, Three of Cups. There's definitely three people here. That talks about a reunion. That talks about dating. So you could be dating a couple of people, but one of these um, relationships are going to be kept secret. The Eight of Wands. They're wanting you to look within and see wh where your passion lies. What are you passionate about? Because they're wanting you to act towards whatever this passion is. They're wanting you to gain clarity and truth here with the Ace of Swords. They could also be wanting you to get out there and date and figure out what it is that you do want. What it is that you are passionate about. That may give you clarity, Capricorn. All right, so I'm going to clarify... Tell me about this High Priestess again. Nine of Pentacles. So this could be a Virgo. That's going to be the secret love. See? Juggling. Two of Pentacles. All right. So what does this High Priestess feel about Capricorn? Because I feel it's the High Priestess and the Empress here. So what is the High Priestess? Oh my gosh, the moon, there's that secret again, the ace of wands and the four of cups. Okay, this person may realize that you're keeping them secret here and they're realizing that you're not choosing them with the four of cups. They want forward movement or they're going to want forward movement with you. So be aware of that. What about the empress? What does the empress feel about Capricorn? What? what does the Empress feel about Capricorn? What does the Empress feel about Capricorn? The King of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Ooh, they feel like this relationship is weighing heavy on them, but they do feel that there could be stability here with the King of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Wands. The hanged man. They may feel like you're leaving them hanging here, waiting, right, with the hanged man. Oh, boy. So what is your overall advice, Capricorn? Ace of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Princess of Wands. You've got to figure out what it is that you want, who it is that you're passionate about, okay? And... 
love yourself first. That's what I'm getting with the Ace of Cups. You have to learn to love yourself in order to realize what it is that you are passionate about and to get this clarity. Because I feel like there is no clarity involving uh, this dating situation here. And spirit, yes, spirit wants you to get out there and date to figure out what it is that you truly want. But then it's up to you, you know, to choose. If you want to choose, maybe you just want to date. But I feel like there is a desire for commitment, but there's also confusion. Okay, what is your advice for Capricorn here? Desert, vision quest. You know how many people got this today? I think you're the fourth one. So spirit really wants you to go within Capricorn and go into that hermit mode. Dive deep into the self. Dive deep into that shadow self. We all have it. And with diving deep into the shadow, there is such expansion from what we've learned within the shadow when we shine light upon it. I cannot even tell you. So hopefully that resonated. Hopefully that helped Capricorn. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. And don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel the trees every day for the collective. You have a good one, Cappies, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.